Hey guys, I'm Eric, and you're watching another exciting episode of Retro Gaming Nerds. Alright guys, I know I promised you an episode a couple weeks ago regarding that special live unboxing of those two classic Atari 2600 games from 1989. One was Atari Warriors, which we've already played here. The next game was supposed to be Secret Quest. Well, guess what? It's that time again. We're playing Atari 2600's classic latecomer to this genre, Secret Quest. All right, so we're getting ready to play Secret Quest here, and, uh, well, you're pricing it here. Yay, green screen! The magic of entertainment! So we're going to uh, play Secret Quest here on the Atari 2600. I got the proper controller in hand, so no foobars uh, or snafus or whatever. Uh, you will see me lean forward from time to time, as this game actually has a menu. All right, so... We're going to enter my initials here. Um, the reason for that is it's tied to your passcode to resume your game later. All right. I want to turn this up just a little bit so you can actually hear that terrible music. And, all right. We got a sword. And we're going to kill that thing. Energy! That right there fills in your energy bar here, as you can see. So, yeah. Potato! Oxygen is good. We gotta breathe because we're on a derelict space station. The aliens in this game are really weird. And yeah, I am taking damage and stuff when I hit those guys, but... It's so nominal on this level, it's okay. Ow. They don't only really take your energy, they also take your oxygen, which sucks. Alright, we gotta go up here. We're looking for a second. Alright, so we're gonna be looking for a clue in another room. We gotta come back to this room to activate that code so we can get out of here. Oh, we needed that. Oh yeah, I am so not... Okay, there's the escape pod. I am so low on oxygen, guys, right now. It is ridiculous. So you see that symbol there? That is the symbol that we need to change that one room to. And I died. <coughs> that was terrible. We're going to play through it again. Don't need to change the uh, there. So, all right. So we got our sword again. The plasma sword. We're making our way through the room. It's kind of nice to see the variety of this level of game and the strategy that is involved. The hit detection is not bad. I mean, this sword sucks. Don't get me wrong. But it gets the job done. Later levels, you'll get different weapons. All right, real quick, the menu. There is your menu. And right here, as you can see, that is my passcode for continuing on. This is the inventory of weapons, and I, this is the levels that I'm on. So, let's go ahead and get back into the game. More energy, and again, we're going to come up here. We know what's up here. we got to change that symbol to that. We're going to cheat a little bit. So let's go ahead and clear out the monsters, because, you know, that's important. And I need oxygen really bad. I can't breathe! OK, 
Okay, so there's that. Kill that. Grab that. Come here, potato! Another potato! Your french fries! That was just... And look at that! The coke changed on me! Damn you, game. So, we gotta go back over here. Luckily, I killed off all the monsters, so not a big deal. There's the symbol. So we switched it. Consider that room kind of like the room with the computer console that activates the escape module. And I screwed up somewhere. So what did I screw up? You know what? I didn't lock it in. You could type all the keys you want, but if you don't hit that all-important famous Hollywood sci-fi trope button that locks in, it doesn't do anything. There! Now! The countdown has begun! The place is gonna blow up! Run! Get out! Escape! We have escaped! And right there was another show of the uh, thing. Now the levels do get a little more difficult. A little more elaborate. I got a trumpet. Nothing for me. That was kind of pointless. I like the fact that the aliens, there are plenty of different styles in the game. I am so low on oxygen, I don't think I'm going to make it. I'll be honest with you guys, I have not played a lot of this game. I mean, of course, even in emulation, which is really no excuse on my part, because I haven't. At least I'm finding oxygen. The game is being nice. Okay, there's one of our symbols. Got to remember that one. And there's our escape pod. Got to remember that. I got to traverse all the way back. What's over here? What's up here? I think we came from there. What's over here? Ah! Stairs! It's multi-level! Because of course it is. Okay, we don't need energy capsules, guys. Oh, yeah. Lots of air. That is what we were needing. There's another, that, that's the actual skate pod. So, okay. What the hell? Multi level, guys. Multi level. Another symbol. So we got that one arrow thingy pointing uh, this way, whatever direction, and then that squiggly line thingy, lightning bolt, Harry Potter was there. So okay, we'll go down this way, see what we find. Stairs! Alright, we don't want to go that way yet. Let's go over here. Down. Don't want to go up. Aliens! More energy. I don't need energy. We need that. Okay. Lightning bolt. Okay. Let's do the lightning bolt on this side, representing maybe the second floor. 20 seconds to get out of there. We're gonna make it past level two, guys!
If I can remember where the hell to go. Yeah! Next level. New aliens. And he's a little tougher. Yay. Ah! Nothing like sling, slinging a uh, light bat at your balls floating around in space. That was immature. More? Oh, yes. We needed that. Didn't need that really, but we'll take it. Definitely need that. I don't have a map for this, guys, so I do apologize. It is a lot of running around. It's just, you gotta run around. Look at that. See, you gotta find these things that are right here. Boom. I'll point up here like this, you know. You gotta find those things and remember what the symbol was. And they're simple symbols, so it's not hard. Let's take the stairs. We're doing pretty good here, guys. Didn't need that. Okay, there's the other symbol. So we got the arrow and then that uh, uh, that thing there, that one. So, okay. What space agency uses hieroglyphs to repre uh, represent stuff, you know? Okay, so we saw stairs again. Oh, okay, we got three levels. Three levels, three symbols. We're going to see if I can remember all three of those symbols. Okay, here we go. First floor was that one. Second floor was that one. And this floor was that one. Nope. Okay, oh crap. And I don't even think I found the freaking, uh, star, sh the spaceshipy thing. Oh, we barely made it. Okay, so there's that. That's kind of useless. So we'll just leave that alone. More space balls. Some of you got that joke. <clears throat> Honestly, I'd love to find a new weapon right about now. Okay, we still have to look around. We found the stairs, but we still got to find the first floor symbol. So, not that easy, guys. Kill this weird alien Medusa looking thing. Didn't get anything really special down there. Okay, so. There's no symbols on this bit, uh, level. Nothing. So, we'll take the stairs down. Okay, we are getting a little low on energy. Oh, there's more stairs. I'll tell you what, guys. The controls are really tight. I like them. It gets the job done. All right, we just had that symbol right there. So let's figure out what... There are stairs everywhere. Holy crap. Oh! Seriously? 
seriously, there is a oh, we're back on level one, I believe, or uh, the first level uh, stage this level. So there's another symbol. This one's going to be confusing. I don't have faith here, guys. I'm lost. Yeah, guys, I have no idea where I'm at right now. Oh, it doesn't matter because I'm dead. All right, so we got a score of 27,153 in this game, and this is actually really fun. Wow. Uh, so a game like this uh, does not get, since I died, I don't get a passcode. But if I would have gotten my passcode at the beginning of the level, we could have started over anywhere. So anyways... All right, guys, so we just got finished playing Atari 2600 Classic Secret Quest. This game is incredible. I mean, it's got an actual beginning and ending. It's got, you know, a mission to everything going on. And there's baddies. This game is incredible. It really shows what the Atari 2600 could really do when put up against the wall, so to speak. What's really impressive with this game is the inclusion of a password to help you save the progress of your game. This means that if you got to a certain area and mom or dad said, hey, take out the trash. There you go, you got to take the trash out without losing your game. You didn't have to start all over. This is the kind of game the Atari 2600 needed more of in its midlife, back in the middle of the 80s, not just the late 80s. But, you know, push out the arcade classics. So guys, this is a great game. The controls were incredibly well done. Granted, it only had one button to do all the stuff. That's all it really needed. It, it was just fine. You used the console to do some other stuff, other joystick to do other stuff. It was a fun game. I wish there was more of these types out there. So guys, with that, yes, this is not exactly the biggest, most elaborate episode we've done, but we're trying to fix ourselves and make our episodes a little more digestible for you on YouTube and Facebook. So remember, speaking of which, go to all of our social medias on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube, and like and su subscribe to all of our stuff. Please, it helps us out by having all you subscribing and following, and of course, liking our content. And if you want to help support Notes and Nerds Entertainment, or the Umbrella Company, or us, please go to patreon.com slash notes and nerds, where you can help give a little and get a lot back. That means if you can give just a dollar, it helps us out producing more great content and going further and farther out to cover cons and music festivals. And even be able to support our retro gaming so you guys can enjoy the shows more often. So guys, with that... I'm Eric, this has been Retro Gaming Nerds, where we're always playing more games on classic consoles. Catch you next time.